As you have heard, I'm also an artist and a musician. Um, same like you CEO, the accomplished guitar player, as I heard. As a musician, there is a great little story I would like to share with you. When you create songs and make music, you cannot expect every song to be fantastic. That just doesn't happen. So there is a great little story we tell ourselves among musicians. And it's an anecdote that someone was shopping for apricots at a market in Paris. And it had a sign on it, special discount, apricots today only so and so much, and the price was very low. And then someone came and picked, a customer came and picked out the apricot. And then the salesperson, the farmer said, no, 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 for this price, you cannot pick out the best apricot. You gotta take the shovel and put them all in the basket. The same happens with great ideas. Not every idea can be a great idea. However, in a lot of organizations, mistakes are treated in a bad way. Somebody says something which others might call a bad idea or even stupid. The person is ridiculed. New ideas are not encouraged. So what happens? You do the same thing over and over again. You don't even want to innovate. You don't even care to innovate because your voice is not heard. You, as leaders, have to make sure everybody's voice is heard. This is how you can predict trends and change. Because one thing that we learn from all of these examples is change is happening at a dramatic pace today. So the number one rule for you is you have to try to predict global trends that are relevant for your organization. Why did Tesco miss the online? Well, because they didn't care about the future. They didn't try to predict or foresee the trends. Why did Nokia miss it, McDonald's miss it, and all the other examples, the same thing. The only way you can prevent this in your organization is to try to always be on your toes, always be flexible, and always try to breed this culture where mistakes are encouraged and ideas are encouraged. Then obviously you have to filter out the best ideas, but that's the only way you can encourage true leadership in your teams and make sure the best ideas come to the fore. Second point, never ever be comfortable. And that I think for your market is your upside. You're not comfortable and that's good. That's a good thing. It's good not to be comfortable. It's good that you live in an environment where you know you have to be flexible, you have to be alert, you have to be reactive. Because what happens to a lot of companies in the West that I tried to outline before, they become too lazy, too complacent. And that's what I call the true corporate culture of innovation. A culture that thrives on creativity, thrives on the ideas of the people, of everybody in the organization and a team that tries to predict and foresee trends. Now, what do I mean by this? The biggest drivers of change in the next five to 10 years will be the changes in expectations of consumers, and especially the young consumer. Their attention span is short, their loyalty shifts from one day to the other. And yes, they're hard to predict. But if you know your territory, and you look at your points of sale, you can try to predict, analyze, and anticipate future consumer behavior. Try to give them what others are missing. Try to foresee what you have to provide to them, which competitors might not be seen. And then you will be ahead of your competitors. There is no doubt. Now, some people might say, oh, but that's hard, and it, you know, it's impossible to analyze, so on. I disagree. Keep your eyes to the ground. Listen to the consumer. And that's another mistake a lot of leaders are making in a VUCA world of volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. They do not listen enough to the consumer. That's your only relevant source of information. Try to analyze and predict. Try to be like an Amazon, even though you're in a completely different market. 
What does Amazon do? They try to predict consumer behavior so much that they know when a pullover or a t-shirt is going to miss in the next week. So they already stuck up. So when you order online, it's going to be there the next day. Predictions and analysis. Now, you might say, well, that's Amazon. What does that have to do with me? You can equally predict and analyze consumer behavior because you know your market. 